Hello, my name is Marcin Yakimiak. I'm a staff researcher at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory. And today I'd like to tell you about our uh, recent work on KG Microbe, a reference knowledge graph and platform for harmonized microbial information. Uh, KG Microbe uh, leverages a knowledge graph construction pipeline and template that uh, our group has developed in the last year. Uh, this covers uh, standard cases for data ingestion, integration with named entity recognition tools, uh, tools for interacting with ontologies, as well as a K as KG construction software for merging and summarizing the data sources. Uh, I also, throughout this poster, I provide links for the resources, uh, appropriate resources. Um, the data sources that we uh, prioritize for KG Microbe uh, follow along our, the KG Hub uh, principle. So taking uh, a set of ontologies that will allow to interlink uh, disparate data types. In this case, we started with a microbial traits table published by Madden et al., uh, uh, which actually includes a number of different entities. And so this was a good uh, test of our NER tool integration uh, using, again, the provided ontologies as dictionaries. Uh, we're able to map uh, a number of features from the microbial trait table, including taxa, chemicals, environmental terms, and molecular functions. Uh, and these uh, are standardized in the knowledge graph setting and uh, also correspond to a build process uh, with releases. So we prioritize our, wor our work using uh, GitHub and tickets, uh, including requests for users. Uh, mostly these are uh, data published uh, in different papers, uh, as well as some online resources. Uh, as part of the uh, KG Microbe infrastructure supported by KG Hub, uh, there is an auto-generated documentation uh, resource uh, provided this link. Um, and then so this uh, could be useful for if people wanted to clone or uh, fork this repo uh, and kind of go down their own path of uh, appending to it, uh, maybe splitting into biomedical or environmental applications. Uh, we also have public, a public release directory structure. Uh, at the provided link. Uh, and here we include uh, builds, uh, results from builds and deployments of the knowledge graph, which happen monthly via GitHub integration with Jenkins. Uh, the directory structure includes both the raw and transformed individual data sources, uh, the merged uh, knowledge graph summary statistics, as well as the knowledge graph uh, files themselves. Uh, the uh, the KG Hub also provides a knowledge graph dashboard, which is a, a high level summary of the knowledge graph uh, itself. And, and because we use the BioLink model to model the entities and relations in the graph, we can use the categories from the BioLink model to provide some uh, very useful summaries. Uh, so this actually can be used to also inspect the knowledge graph and track its state to identify data types or data sources that are underrepresented. Uh, and also to uh, check if, whether normalization has happened in, in appropriate ways. Uh, we can convert the graph data to a table uh, to enable other machine learning analysis. However, the information in, in KG Microbe and a lot of similar knowledge graph resources is quite sparse. So the graph structure is a more appropriate uh, data object. Uh, however, we can create the table, and there's a little histogram here showing the feature frequency of the columns generated uh, from the knowledge graph, KG Microbe knowledge graph, in its table version. And you can see that most of the features are quite sparse, uh, and so only uh, apply to a subset, a small subset of the over 12,000 taxa represented in this data set. Uh, in terms of the uh, taxa, we also used a ontology. Uh, interaction tool called Robot to trim the, NC, the full NCBI taxonomy and to arrive at a uh, subset of the taxonomy relevant to microbes. Uh, and so this allowed to both uh, scale down the immense size of the NCBI taxonomy and also craft it to specific needs uh, in a knowledge graph setting, which also set a precedent and will be reusable in uh, KG Hub. Now, one uh, interesting and you know, exciting use of knowledge graphs or uh, graph embeddings. Uh, and we perform graph embeddings using the Indigen package uh, provided at the GitHub link, uh, using a node to vec implementation uh, that really only used the structure of the graph, so the nodes and their link linkages. Uh, there's additional information that other algorithms could uh, make use of, 
including edge types and, and node and, and edge properties. Uh, and so here I'm showing two uh, TISNI dimensionality reductions of the graph embeddings, both for nodes and edges, uh, left and right, colored by their corresponding biolink model types. Uh, and so you can see that this reveals some uh, interesting structure and relationships of the data. Uh, mainly the thing we are looking for here is no uh, kind of uh, circular balls of data, which would correspond to uh, low dimensional embeddings with low information. Uh, and so the goal, so this can actually be used as a diagnostic of, in the KG uh, construction process uh, to identify pieces of data, a subset of substantive data that either are poorly linked or do not provide any novel information. Uh, and again, the uh, node and edge uh, categories are provided from the BioLink model, uh, which is actually a very nice, useful uh, aspect of uh, this whole KG construction process. And finally, uh, one demonstration of the application of uh, the KG microbe uh, through the graph embeddings is a uh, predictive model to predict microbial shapes uh, from the data in this table, which I should note does not include any sequence or genomic information. And so using the data sources uh, shown uh, in the middle panel, so the ontologies interlink with the microbial trait table for chemicals, uh, functions, the, the taxonomy itself and in environmental terms, we're actually able to build a quite predictive models of uh, microbial shapes. And, and so here I'm showing both the uh, feature importance plot, the confusion matrix, and a uh, performance uh, table. Uh, we used CatBoost, uh, the CatBoost package to build these classifiers using the graph embeddings as a direct input, so as, as input features. Uh, CatBoost uses a gradient boosted decision tree methods to uh, construct the classifier. And uh, as part of this process, we split the data into test and training, uh, generate additional negative associations via some random mismatch methods, and uh, we evaluate the performance on 20% uh, withheld data. And so the results I'm showing here, which in most cases uh, you know, near perfection, uh, except for a few cases which have lower uh, representation, so kind of rare, rare classes, which are a common issue, uh, we can perform quite well in uh, predicting microbial shape, which I think traditionally has been something difficult to do uh, and would probably rely more on uh, sequence information or even images from microscopy. So in this case, we didn't have to rely on either of those extensive and difficult to obtain data types. So uh, we think that KG microbe will be an important resource for uh, microbial biology and analysis. Uh, and we plan to develop it further and uh, interact with the community to uh, both gather feedback and learn about applications. Thank you.